What's up guys, Pokemon Help with 562 and welcome back to part 2. In part 2 I'll be showing you how to make your own Pokemon uh, with a program called GIMP or GNU Image Manipulation Program and also I'll be teaching you how to edit scripts for your game. So what you want to do is first of all get GIMP as you can see here, GIMP, GIMP, and you want to uh, choose, or go into Google, as you can see here, Google, so let me go into Google, go into Google and search in your Pokemon, so I'll choose Pikachu, oops, and you want to go into um, Pikachu where it says Pokemon Bulbapedia Bulbapedia, sorry, my bad and then you want to go over down to where it says Sprite and then you get all these sprites I'll be choosing Diamond and Pearl so I'll just copy that go into GIMP you can see the GIMP file new now set it to 100 by 100 which says advanced options go into transparency and then oh, I'm sorry about this won't take that long to load sorry okay, well, so that's, well that's all, you want to choose another Pokemon so let's choose Hunter Now, paste in Pikachu. As you can see there, Pikachu's there. Create a new look, create a new one. Same thing. And that's where Hunter's are gonna be. So I'm just sprites. That. Paste it. And there we go. Make it big. So you can go to 400% view or probably 800 and then go into Pikachu make it the same big size of oh, this is pretty big and then go into 800 now you're gonna start by doing the uh, borders as you can see there just um, go to paintbrush tool and just do all that um, I've done a sprite already so I'm just gonna show you it instead of taking my time and creating one so just let me find it um, fusions yeah, as you can see here, um, I've created one already. So after you've done that, uh, you want to go to one of the advanced text. Now, um, I've looked into some videos, and I'm actually surprised that people do not know this. That um, advanced text is um missing some files so I'm going to show you how to get the original files so what you want to do is go into sorry you want to go into um uh, this website right here uh just hold on for a second As you can see there, it's pokemonhack.110mb.com slash index.html. Link will be in the description. But anyway, you want to just go to that website right there. As you can see, there's an arrow right there I just made. And then you want to click on downloads right there. And then you'll get a folder, I mean, like a file. Extract that. And. Um, you will get a folder called DLL 
Now, after you do that, you have to download advanced text, and you'll get a folder for advanced text. After you have advanced text, you want to open it, and you want to place the two files from D from the folder DLL and paste it into advanced text. Now, the two text is these. So it's right there. The two text, the folder, the things from the folder and you just want to paste that in there now after you do that you want to open up advanced text and see here it's working and you want to click open ROM now you want to go into your ROM so mine's leaf, gr leaf green and you want to just click on controls well, mine's controls and you can basically re-edit anything you want so um, so I'm just gonna instead of please come again As you can see, we shall wait for your turn, and just click on save text, yes, and click OK. Now it's done, you can see Route 1, you can get back to Pallet Town, but mine's going to be called Supertree Town. Make sure you don't go over the text border, as you can see the text border. Pallet Town, yeah, and then you just want to when you're done just click exit and then you should be done um please rate subscribe and comment and please stay tuned for um part three of the tutorial which will be how to use advanced map and how to use overworld editor